today i will be discussing on molecular physics so uh, this video is very much helpful for csi net get jest and slate aspirants and this video is mainly for short notes and uh, formulas and uh, some of the concepts so the first thing is that the a type of molecular spectra so there are three types of molecular spectra one is rotational spectra one is vibrational spectra and one is electronic spectra so the main characteristic of rotational spectra are the range it is lying in the far ir and microwave region the main requirement is that molecule must have permanent dipole moment so for vibrational spectra the range is near and mid ir and the requirement is that a change in dipole moment due to the vibration this is also known as ir spectra as uh, it lies in the ir region then we have electronic spectra and the range of this is visible and uv the requirement is that there must be some change in electronic configuration and this type of spectra is given by all molecules and these informations are a very much helpful for gate and slate exam so the first topic is that rigid diatomic molecule so we have a diatomic molecule uh, containing two atoms and this is rigid rigid means the bond length is fixed so the r not which is r1 plus r2 is fixed so the moment of inertia is given by i equal to mu r not square and the allowed rotational energy is ej equal to h square divided by 8 pi square i j into j plus 1 joule where nu is the reduced mass and the formula is m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 and the wave number epsilon j equal to ej divided by ac so since uh, in spectroscopy all the things are mainly expressed in wave number so the epsilon j equal to h by 8 pi square ic j into j plus 1 same inverse and you can also write as epsilon j equal to b j into j plus 1 same inverse where b equal to h by 8 pi square ic is called rotational constant so epsilon j we have b j into j plus 1 so the distance between two consecutive level is uh, twice b j into j plus 1 same in uh, same inverse so these are the different rotational level so this corresponds to j equal to 0 then j equal to 1 then j equal to 2 j equal to 3 j equal to 4 and uh, you see with j values the distance between two level is increasing continuously and classically we have e equal to half i omega square uh, or in other case you can also write omega equal to root over twice e by i where i is the moment of inertia and the spacing between two lines is always twice b you see from this figure next we have isotopic substitution so iso what is isotopes so isotopes are uh, elements which have same atomic number but different mass number so this is the different rotational level of 12 co that is carbon monoxide so if you replace carbon 12 by carbon 13 then what happen so you see the mass of the carbon 13 is more than the mass of the carbon 12 so mass is more for carbon 13 so if mass is more than i that is moment of inertia which is i equal to mr square so i also be more so as a result in the expression of b you see b equal to h by 8 pi square ic that means if i is large then b is small so b is small and due to this epsilon j is also small so the spacing between the energy level decreases so this is the uh, different rotational level of 12 co and this is the different rotational level of 13 co so this is the effect of isotopic substitution and uh, this question was asked in csi net 2012 next we have non rigid rotator so here we have also a diatomic molecule but now the bond length is not fixed so molecule has a tendency to stress due to centrifugal effect so bond length is now not a constant so that's why we have potential term and due to that we have some non rigid contribution so this is the expression of energy which is ej equal to h square divided by 8 pi square i j into j plus 1 minus this term this is due to the non rigid contribution 
so we are mainly interested in the wave number so which is b j into j plus 1 minus d j square j plus 1 whole square where d is the centrifugal distortion constant and b and d are related by this formula this is actually not formula this is an approximation so d equal to 10 to the power minus 4 b and this is the different rotational energy level for rigid rotor and these are for non-rigid rotor and you see for non-rigid case the energy is decreases due to the negative term next we have vibrational spectroscopy so in case of vibrational spectroscopy the oscillation frequency is given by nu naught equal to 1 by twice by root over k by nu where k equal to force constant and nu equal to reduced mass and this question was asked in a gate 13 next the vibrational energy is ev equal to v plus half h nu naught joule and in terms of wave number is epsilon v equal to v plus half nu naught then we have anharmonic oscillator in real case there is some anharmonicity so this does not obey hooke's law and this is deviated from harmonic behavior so this is the energy versus bond length is shown and as a result you see there is some deviation from the harmonic behavior so the energy is given by ev equal to v plus half h nu and due to anharmonicity there is uh, some other terms like v plus half whole square h nu xi and in terms of wave number you can write it as v plus half nu e bar minus v plus half whole square nu e bar xi where nu e bar is the equilibrium oscillation frequency and xi e is called an harmonicity constant which is nearly 0 0.01 so these are the selection rule that is del v equal to plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and based on these some questions were asked in gate and slip so now uh, let us learn some new terms so the first one is fundamental line so this line corresponds to the transition from v equal to 0 to v equal to 1 then we have first overton this corresponds to the transition from v equal to 0 to v equal to 2 and similarly from v equal to 0 to v equal to 3 we have second overton and so on next we have another term which is called hot bands so these hot bands are generally the transition from v equal to 1 for example v equal to 1 to v equal to 2 this is a hot band and from this picture you can see so the transition from v equal to 0 to v equal to 1 this is called fundamental line and from v equal to 0 to v equal to 2 this is called first overton v equal to 0 to v equal to 3 this is called second overton and so on then we have rotational vibrational spectra here both rotational motion and vibrational motion are involved so the total energy will be the sum of the rotational energy and the vibrational energy so e total equal to e rot plus e vibrational and epsilon total equal to epsilon rot plus epsilon vibrational and uh, this is the final formula so in this picture rotational vibrational spectra is shown and this line correspond to del j equal to zero and all these lines constitute a branch this is called q branch so for del j equal to 0 the branch is called q branch for del j equal to 1 this is called r branch and for del j equal to minus 1 this is called p branch so so this is the j equal to 0 level and the line correspond to j equal to 0 to j equal to 1 so del j equal to plus 1 similarly this is j equal to 1 and this is j equal to 2 and del j equal to plus 1 so all these lines are correspond to del j equal to plus 1 so that's why this constitute the r branch and similarly this constitute the p branch next we have some important formulas so for an harmonic oscillator maximum number of level is obtained by dev by dv equal to zero that means you have to do the derivative of ev with respect to v and then find the v and this question was asked in csir 2014 then the first stocks line of rotational Raman spectra is 6b so uh, please remember these things then we have rotational fine structure and here one thing you have to remember the selection rule and the selection rule for that is del j equal to 0 or plus minus 2 and ultimately you get the energy as b 4j plus 6 so thank you